So Y4 News taking a live look over downtown Spokane. We have been seeing some showers over the past couple hours and those clouds lingering around. However, some changes are coming starting overnight tonight. Tonight we will see those chance of showers continue here in Spokane. They should start pushing east here pretty shortly, but we do have a chance that those will linger throughout the evening and overnight those will go away. 44 degrees for your overnight low and our winds going to stay light this evening. Tomorrow we have a high of 71 degrees. We do have a chance for some patchy morning fog. Then we'll be partly cloudy throughout the day tomorrow and our temperatures starting to warm up considerably. Winds tomorrow out of the south 5 to 10 miles an hour. On that Doppler radar, you can see that moisture stream that we have been seeing in the area it's starting to push east right now. It's not moving too quickly, so those showers, showers lingering a little while longer. Idaho going to be seeing some shower activity throughout the evening tonight, but then as I said, those will go away into the overnight hours. We do have this flood warning still in effect for the Okanagan River near Tenasket, still in effect until further notice. Some good news though, right now the river is at about 15.9 feet. Yesterday it was a little over 16 and a half feet, so that has gone down quite a bit, That, but that flood stage still 15 feet, so they're still experiencing some minor flooding and that minor flooding going to continue. In the 24 hour forecast, you can see that low system is going to start to push out here then tomorrow we have a high pressure building over the area that is going to keep us dry for the next few days and our temperature is going to start to warm up considerably as we take a look at that temperature trend look on Wednesday 87 degrees for our high that's about 15 degrees above our average for this time of year then just a couple days later, we take quite a drop and then we'll be about 10 degrees below our averages for this time of year. So the temperature's kind of all over the place this week. Right now in Spokane, we are at 56 degrees with winds out of the south, 10 miles an hour in Coeur d'Alene, 53 degrees with winds out of the south to southeast, five miles an hour in Coeur d'Alene. Our lows tonight, 44 degrees in Spokane Valley, 45 in Coeur d'Alene, 43 in Deer Park, into the lower to mid 40s around the region. That is quite a bit cooler than the lows we have have been seeing recently and our highs tomorrow our temperatures starting to warm up will be 71 in Spokane 73 in the valley only 69 in Coeur d'Alene still 70 in Deer Park but Moses Lake 77 78 degrees in Wenatchee and those temperatures only getting warmer 87 degrees on Wednesday then another change in the middle of the week Thursday we have a chance of some showers starting to roll in, but most of the moisture will likely stay Friday. We'll see some shower activity. We do have the chance of those showers Saturday. We have the threat of those on Sunday as well. However, Sunday we will likely stay dry, but our temperature is cooling down quite a bit. Kind of all over the place there. Changing up the forecast. It was sunny Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday just Well, it's yesterday. still going to be sunny. We're just going to see yeah. a little bit of clouds activity. And then our weekend warrior. This is sent to us by Patty Wines. What a great way to spend your weekend. She's watching her daughter and her, or I mean, her, excuse me, her granddaughter at her dance recital. Pretty good way if you're a grandparent to spend your weekend. Of course. Uh, and if you want to be featured as our weekend warrior, if you're going on a hike or doing something fun in the outdoors, just snap a pic and send it to me, drewr at kxy.com. We'd love to see what you're doing.